Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're diving into the mysterious world of SCP-047, Microbial Mutagen. This little guy falls into the Keter category, so you know we're in for a wild ride. Let's jump right in and see what this microbial mutagen is all about. SCP-047, known as the microbial mutagen, must be kept in a 0.5 meter by 0.5 meter by 1 meter airtight storage box. This box must be secured in storage locker 047A, located inside P3 Secure Biohazard Lab 047B. All access to and movement within 047B will be monitored through biometric scan, closed circuit camera, and redacted. The characteristics of SCP-047-1 species vary depending on the base bacterium from which it is derived, but there are some consistent features. SCP-047-1 samples are typically debilitating and virulent, with a relatively low mortality rate compared to other Keter-class SCPs, SCP-047 has been observed to selectively mutate several strains of bacteria, with the process being more effective on bacteria living on a human host. It is encouraged to mutate natural commensals for experimental purposes, but mutation of already pathogenic species is banned following a containment breach in 2010. Three specific species of SCP-047-1 mutated bacteria are notable for their involvement in the containment breach. Access to 047B requires authorization from the project manager and at least 105 level clearance. SCP-047 is classified as a priority for contagious biohazard and all protocols, including mandatory quarantine if exposed, must be followed. Suite Q-047 is available for this purpose, located adjacent to Lab 047B. If SCP-047-1 becomes contaminated from outside sources, lockdown protocol 047-01 Yersinia must be implemented. SCP-047 was retrieved from Site Secure Laboratory by a Foundation Biohazard Recovery Team in response to a complete breach situation on slash slash 199. Testing logs indicate that the research team was attempting to contain, data expunged, in a class SCP stable pressure cylinder, leading to, redacted, combining with, redacted. A full molecular biological analysis of this event is available in, redacted. The release of gas when SCP-047 was compromised caused a microbiotal bloom of uncounted SCP-047-1 species, resulting in the death of all laboratory staff within hours. Exposed site staff followed standard foundation quarantine-slash-containment protocol, successfully containing the infection. 